Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Wild Rover by the Dublin Ears. And it starts on a G major chord, and the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And our verses are going to actually start with three G majors, and then we're going to go to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And we're going to end up doing two C majors, and then we're going to go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major, and it sounds really, really happy. And we're going to end up doing the D three times, and then we go back to the G major. And then we do another G major, and then the tag reverse, we got G major, G major, G major, C major, C major, D major, D major, D major, G major. And then we end up on our chorus part, and our chorus just kind of mixes up those, those chords. So we're going D major, D major, D major, D major, G major, G major, C major, C major, G major, G major, C major, C major, no D major, D major, no G major, G major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And, and Wild Rover is actually in a 3-4 time, and my favorite strum pattern for a 3-4 is down, down, up, down, up. So we just took the G and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So you want to do that a lot to kind of get used to that. And then if we try that through our verse, we got G, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, G, down. And then if we try that through our chorus, then we have D down up down up D down up down up D down up down up D down up down G down down up down G down down up down C down down up down C down down up down G down down up down up down down up down C down down up down C down down up down D down down up down G down down up down G down down up down G down down up down up. So that would be one way to kind of play through the verse and the chorus. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it even more interesting, instead of doing just down, down, up on it, you could actually make it more interesting by doing a bass down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is, like, on the G chord, the lowest G note that you have in that chord is on the low E string. So we kind of play that one string and then do our down, up, down, up. So low E bass, down, up. playing with a bass player. And on your C major, you'd have the A string for your bass. On your C chord, so you got C with an A bass, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, down, up. And then when we get to your D chord, you'd have the open D string for your D chord. So you got D bass, down, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, down, up. So we tried that through our verse. We have G with a low E bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, down, C with an A bass. If we tried it that way, we'd have D with the D bass, down, up, down, 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 G with the low 
Louis Bays. Town of Town to the Louis Bays. Town of Town to the Navy Bays. Town of Town to the Navy Bays. Town of Town to the with Louis Bays. Town of Town to the Louis Bays. Town of Town to the Navy 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 Bays. Town of Town to the Louis Bays. Town of Town to the Louis Bays. Town of Town. Now another way to kind of mix it up, and this is going to be a little weird is on sometimes when you've got the doubled chords, it can sound good to do the fifth of the chord in the bass instead of the root of the chord. Now what the root of the chord is actually is the name of the chord. So the root of a G chord is a G note. But if you counted up five notes from a G, you'd have G, A, B, C, D. So one other way that you might want to try doing the strum pattern on the G chord when you've got double Gs is you can do the low E string for the bass and the down and down and then do the D string for the bass. So on the G you got low E for the root, String for the D or for the fifth, G for the low, or low E for the root, D for the fifth, low E for the root, D for the fifth. So using that other bass note could be kind of a cool thing. On the C chord, the weird thing is you've got the A string that's the, the root of the chord. But if we counted up five from, from C, we'd have C D E F G. So that one one way that you could kind of get to a low G note on the guitar is taking the third finger from the A string and then moving it to the third fret on the low E string, but you'll have to kind of move it back to the A string right after that. So, so kind of moving the third finger for the root on the A string, down, down, fifth on the low E string, third. Root on the A string, third, fifth on the low E string, third. And then when you get your D chord, the fifth of a D note would be an A note. So, so we have a D string for the bass and then an A string on the bass. That's kind of another bass note that you could throw in where you got the double D. Because of the phrasing of the song, or at least on the verses, because you, you end up with sometimes you've got three chords. So you may have a situation where you're going to go root, fifth, root, and then have to switch to the next chord, root, fifth. So for instance, if we tried that on your verse, you'd have G with the low E root, G with the fifth, G with the root, and then you got a C with the root, C with the fifth, D with the root. actually kind of works out a little bit better because we have just chords in pairs. So on your chorus you'd have your D with the root on the D, fifth on the A. D with the root on the D, fifth on the A. G with the low E root, D string for the fifth, G with the low E root, D string for the fifth, and, and then we got this, oh wow I, I did too many. <laughs> so then when we get to your chorus if we draw that we have D with the D string root, A for the fifth, D string for the root, So, so through your verse you got of how you could strum through Wild Rover by the Dublin Ears. So good luck!